That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kinds. It's spring season, y'all, and I know you hear the birds chirping in the background, so what better topic to bring to you than this, how to create a lovely flower arrangement. This video is brought to you by a young lady who happens to have, and I mean just happens to have, because she's still doing her job, 10% sight, and still making it happen. Her channel is Creations from the Table. I had someone look at this bouquet and they were awestruck and I'm sure you will too so please subscribe hit the notification bell because if you don't you're going to miss out also like share and comment let me know what you think about this particular video so now let's get into the video from creations from the table I'm going to put the uh, link in the description so without further delay here we go thank you for the video that are made out of a straw hat from the Dollar Tree and a little straw purse with some blooming flowers in it. And we're gonna just bring spring into our homes because we really need that right now. With all the chaos and mayhem that's going on, we need a little bit of cheering up. And so we need some bright colors and some springtime and some fun activities to do together. So all of these items um, will be found either from the Dollar Tree or from um, Walmart or Hobby Lobby. And I will list all that in the description box below. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this. Uh, video and what other content you would like to see um, me bring to you for um, DIYs and I have some ideas for upcoming DIYs so let's take this time that we are all in quarantine together and share some spring DIYs together. Hope you enjoy. Let's grab our seats at the table and let's get to creating. So I picked up this little wicker purse. I think it's wicker, kind of a basket weave wicker from Dollar Tree. This one's in the green. I believe they had pink and orange as well but I chose the green. And I just cut a piece of the green oasis to the size of the purse and I just kind of stuck it down in there. And then I chose some white and pink flowers um, to put inside and just make this little arrangement coming out of the out of the purse. And then I tied on that green and white gingham uh, two inch wide wire edge ribbon and just made a little um, decorative piece for the handle. And then I hung it here on my fireplace next to my little bunny sign that I got at Walmart. And so we're going to make a sun hat that matches this little purse so it's a little set and I will hang it on the other side of the fireplace that I'll show you after it's done. All right, I have here the wicker hat um, from the Dollar Tree that matches the little wicker purse um, just in fabric is all. Uh, it did come with a different ribbon around um, the hat part and I did take that off which was really easy to remove. I just pulled it off. I did not um, care for that ribbon that was on it. It didn't match what I wanted to do with that. And so I used the same ribbon that I did for the little purse, did the green and white gingham um, with the wire edge, and I will um, curl these up at the end of doing this project, but for now we're just going to leave that the way it is. I just already tied that on in a bow around the round part of the hat. Uh, you got the brim and it comes into the round part of the hat, and that's where I've tied it around um, around the, uh, where it fits on your head, <laughs> except we're not going to be wearing this. Okay, so here I have some pink flowers that I've, I've separated these out so that I know which is uh, which colors. I've separated them into the, the three colors that I want to use. Actually the two colors but um, I'm using some pink, a couple of pink roses or maybe it's just one pink rose, a pink tulip and whatever this little pink um, smaller kind of a small leaf flower is. I'm not sure what that one is but um, and then I have some cotton that I want to use. Two little balls of cotton, uh, puffs of cotton that I cut off the stems already and I have two white roses and some baby's breath here that I'm going to use as well. So I've already got these cut off the stems, but I do have my um, cutters here, my wire cutters, in case I need to trim them down anymore. And with this fabric that this hat is made out of, because it's that kind of wickery fabric, these flowers will stick in quite nicely uh, right into this hat. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the pink, and I'm going to start with the one that's kind of the leafy um, style. And I'm going to start layering these in close to the the bow that I've created in the back of the hat. Uh, we're going to kind of come up 
the side of the hat from the ribbon uh, where the bow is and just start kind of circling around. Okay, so we're gonna stick in the pink um, that looks like the leaves in there and we're gonna put that right up near um, where the bow is starting there. And you really don't have to do anything um, to the stem to get it to stay because it will just kind of hug right into that fabric. So after that one, I'm gonna take a white rose and layer that in. And again, you can just kind of poke it. If you can see what I'm doing, I'm just kind of poking it, working it through the weave of the hat. And it will poke right on through there. I'm kind of going under the ribbon um, so that it's circling around the bottom edge of the ribbon. So I have my white one there, and I think now I'm going to take the pink tulip, and I did leave the leaves, the green leaves on these flowers um, for a little more color. So I'm going to put the tulip in now, and I get kind of close to the other uh, flowers so that they kind of overlap and um, bundle up together like that. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some cotton. Now this one, I think I'm going to stick in kind of in between the rose and the tulip. I'm going to weave that right in between the layers of the hat. And that one's having a little bit. There we go. Nestle that right in between your tulip and your rose. And now I think I'm going to take some baby's breath. Push that um, greenery right up to the edge of your baby's breast so you got a lot of that greenery showing. And I'm gonna put this in right on the other side of my pink tulip. Just be patient with working that in um, to the weave of the hat because it is gonna take a little bit of finagling and wiggling to get that in. And you can always cut the stem shorter if that's what you wanna do um, to have them be a little bit shorter. Oh, that was a pink rose that I used earlier because here's my tulip here, which I think, yeah, I'll go ahead and put it on the other side of this baby's breath and weave that right in there, stick that in. I have a white rose. You don't have to use all of um, these flowers if you want it a little bit less, then just use a little bit less. It's completely your preference and color choice, what you want to use. I think I'm going to take this other um, sprig of cotton here. I don't know if cotton is actually called a sprig, but um, and I'm going to come back closer to the bow on the other side of the original um, pink flower that I put in there. So I just think I want to put it kind of off a little bit um, to the back. So we got the cotton, a little pink sprig, and then the rest of the flowers are going to come in around the side. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use one more white rose up here to finish off the flower part of it. And this is just completely your preference where you want to place these flowers and what order you want to do. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I might go ahead and stick in this last bit of baby's breath kind of in between my tulip and my rose. We always like to have a lot of flowers. <laughs> I'm so ready for spring. All right, and that's pretty much all you need for this project to make it look nice and full and pretty and ready for spring. So now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I've already cut the dovetail edge of this, which we talked about in another video about folding it so the two edges, the two uh, raw edges meet, and then you are gonna cut in an upward angle from the point where the edges meet upward towards the seam, towards the uh, crease, and that'll give you that dovetail look. And for this, you're just gonna take and start rolling it like you would a piece of paper, um, anything like that, roll it, start under, underneath, roll it under, and roll it all the way up to where the hat is. And then you're gonna reach inside, whichever direction you want these to coil down, you can reach from either side, inside and grab that little end of your tail and just pull it out. And you will get a coiled, um, 
curled edge to your, not edge, but you'll get a curled tail. And you can just kind of play with it, loosen it a little bit if it's too tight of a coil for you. Um, you don't like it quite that coiled, then just loosen it up a little bit and then play with it. Get it to be just how you want it to, to hang there. And you will be all set to go. And I will show you how this looks hanging on my fireplace on the other side as a match to the little purse. And just a little tip, little last note here, whatever direction you decide to do one tail, do the other one in a mirror image. So they're kind of facing uh, the same direction, whether they're facing outward or inward toward each other, whichever way you prefer. Um, just make sure they're in kind of a mirror image of each other. And there we have our little tails and our hat with the flowers all completed. And there we are, all completed, hanging up on my fireplace. I have hooks right there that my husband put in for me, that I have the um, hat. I pushed through the weave, if you can see it there on the hook. I just pushed it right through that weave, just like I did the flowers. And we have it all hanging there nicely with the ribbon hanging down and coiled at the ends there. And it just looks so cute and ready for spring and it matches our little um, purse that we did and so I just I love this piece and all these items here came from the Dollar Tree except the ribbon which came from Walmart. This isn't exactly a DIY but I did want to share this with you. I got all of these pieces to this cute little fairy garden from the Dollar Tree and this is on my entryway table um, in my foyer coming into my house from the front door and instead of using the Easter grass and such I chose to use grass printed scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I found that to be a much easier solution because I don't want all that Easter grass all over the place at the end of the season. So this is a great option. Whoa!